So the start of the starters order seven qualifiers then it's the hurdle. First big final last week of the season of course at Aintree it's two mile two furlong. Today 0 to 120 and the top one is Kingdom or Island Joshua Sutherland. Colebrook answer for Graham Clipsbrook, King of Spades Ryan Tamasebi, Annie's Land Alex Cherry, Clifton Hassel Ryan Costello, Albu Braff for Alex Cherry again, Parabolic of a Paul Rhodes, Jenny Jingle Thomas Rogers, Viper Strike Paul Rhodes, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof Graham Clipsbrook, Bias for Lunda for James Shea, Word is My Bond Super Martin and Broughton Zorro Thomas Rogers, Heartburns Ryan Costello and Cavalry Man. Willie Mullins, so a field of 15, I'm not sure how many quality they're off and racing, I'm not sure whether it's three or four that qualify for the final, which is the final week of the season, and there's a qualifier virtually every week I think as well, so plenty of chances to get in, and Annie's Land is the leader, by about three, to the first of the Greys, Viper Strike, the second of the Greys, Parabolic, is from the same stable, well, the two horses you can see look really similar. With Kingdom or Island in between them, and then Word is my Bond Super as they take the first of the eight flights of hurdles. And Annie's Land is clear in the lead of the Paul Rhodes pair, second and third, as they take the second. Good jump by Word is my Bond Super between them, and also by Kingdom or Island, who moves into third. And towards the back of the field, Cavalry Man is just. The back marker, past the winning post then, one more circuit to go, and he's landing the lead, leading by three lengths, maybe four, to Kingdom Oil Island, and the word is my Bond Super, the grey on the near side is Viper Strike, the one on the far side is Parabolica, Clifton Hassel is also close up, then Cat, of, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof and King of Spades together. Cherry's second horse, Alba Goobrath is after that one as they take the next. Didn't jump that one all that well. Alba Goobrath has gone towards the back. The back marker is just Brout and Zorro as they make their way towards the next. This is the fourth of the eight. And once again, a good jump by Wood is my Bond Super in the second. But Annie's Land continues to lead by three lengths to Wood is my Bond Super second. Then Kingdom on Island third and Clifton Haas. Hassel is in fourth, and the two Paul Rhodes Greys both just drop back a little bit, but still plenty close enough. Viper Strike and Parabolica, Kingdom of Spades and Bees for Lunder. Yes. After that, it's one down wide on the track. His heart burns. I was trying to tuck itself in a little bit now, rolling around a little bit as you can see. The one in front of it that's just sitting wide is one of Graham Clutterbuck's two as they take the fifth. And as you can see, they're pretty much close together, and it's hard to tell which one's which at the minute. I do wish they could change the race kit so that if you've got two runners from the same stable, one of the horses wore a different colour cap, it would make it so much easier as they jump the sixth. Especially when you've got horses that are similarly bred and they look exactly the same. So it's Annie's Land in the lead, and that's a perfect example as you can see which one's second and which one's third. Parabolica and Viper Strike, and Kingdom or Island is in fourth. Then comes King of Spades, who's getting going. Then Clifton Hassel, where is my Bond Super, just hit a bit of a flat spot. Colebrook Answer is coming through on the inside. Then Bees Fall Under, Jenny Jingles trying to get closer. Cat on a hot tin roof is after that one. Then Algu Brath. He's next, then Heartburns, and then finally Broughton Zorro and Cavalry Man. But it's the Greys that have gone on there. Viper Strike and Parabolica. Three furlongs to go, two flights to jump. And Viper Strike looks like it's gone for home. Viper Strike in front from Colebrook Answer second. Parabolica is third. Then the long time leader and his land starting to drop away a little bit. Word is my Bond Super's trying to run on. So to his Kingdom of Ireland, King of Spades. Over the second last they go. And now Viper Strike is being pressed by Colebrook Answer. It's Viper Strike and Colebrook Answer from Parabolica. And his land still trying to stick on in there. King of Spades and Kingdom of Ireland trying to come through as well, over the final flight they go and it's Viper Strike in the lead, half a furlong left and it's Viper Strike and Paul Rhodes hadn't had a winner until tonight, I don't think but now it looks like he's going to have a double and a one-two, up towards and on Viper Strike wins it, Parabolic a second, King of Spades third, Wood is my Bond Super was fourth and Cavalry Man was the last one to finish but I think probably the closest that Willie Mullins has finished so far this season so stick at it and you'll get there 
eventually. So Vipers, I thought I'd say that to Willie Mullins. Vipers strike the winner. <laughs> Parabolica and King of Spades. Let's take a look then at the connections. I'm pretty sure they're both Paul Rhodes. Indeed they are. Viper Strike, Paul Rhodes the winner. Parabolica, Paul Rhodes second. King of Spades, Ryan Tanasebi third. A word is my bond super for Martin Lidl was fourth. And Clifton Hassel for Ryan Costello was fifth. Pretty sure at least the front three would have qualified for the final. Maybe even the front four, so we'll see about that. But I'm pretty sure Viper Strike, Parabolica and Kingdom of Spades at least are definitely in the final.